For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we also want to thank Cuba, because without Cuba, many, every single Caribbean country would have had great difficulty in fighting this COVID pandemic. We have Cuban doctors and nurses and, and technicians working in our hospitals, ensuring that we can do everything possible to keep people alive, those who have been infected by COVID-19. And so we want to thank the heroic people of Cuba for their usual generosity. And therefore, we cannot consider the help that Cuba gives to us in our hour of need and to define it as human trafficking. What is CELAC's position on this particular matter? This is a, this is a fundamental question we have to ask ourselves. And we also want to thank the heroic people of Venezuela, who in all of their challenges with the sanctions have been able to reach out to us with PPEs and testing kits when many of us in the Caribbean were running very low or unable to access those, those um, testing kits and PPEs because they were blocked in other parts of the world. Claro que hay una contradicción, presidente de la calle, entre la OEA y la CELAC. Es la vieja contradicción del monroísmo y el bolivaranismo. A América para los americanos, que nos consideran patio trasero, eso sigue intacto, sigue así. ¿Mm? Más allá de lo que hoy se pueda decir. Y el bolivaranismo, el latinoamericanismo, el unionismo, ¿Mm? y la CELAC es nuestro camino.